hi guys welcome to this channel today we are discussing a virgin <laughs> yes that's the topic oh my god people are starting to hide their faces now 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 what is she gonna say today we are discussing that girl that has never been to bed with a man that's the virgin but you may be asking yourself how old was this girl because there are so many virgins out there but how old are they so today is the day we are gonna discuss that this virgin guys guess what <laughs> this virgin what was 45 years old this girl had never seen a man not with the eyes but going to bed with a man she had never done that and guys hey let me tell you count one year two years up to 45 years so where was this girl brought up this girl was brought up in a family in the villages of kenya and that is where she went to school and grew up and um I, was she a nun i know you want to ask that no she wasn't what kind of a family was she born in she was born in a christian family and is it that the parents were very strict or what was she ugly why didn't she ever have a man in her life this girl had men in her life and she was born in a normal family where you know parents are just christians they are christians not just christians you are she was brought up in a christian way but she had virtues she had virtues and she knew uh she knew god this girl got born again at the age of nine you know those Sunday school girls that go to church very early with the parents and at some point when there is an altar call the girl just walks to the front and says i want to be born again and you know what the parents sometimes wonder if this child knows what uh, being born again means <clears throat> sometimes they ask does this child know what is to be saved but this child is so bold goes ahead and says yes i want to be born again i want to be saved and that is what happened this girl got born again on a serious note when she was nine years and what happened is that after the primary school um she went to a boarding school and uh, it was not a catholic school it was a pre presbyterian um uh, school uh, but she mixed with people of different uh, religions and um, she was always very very faithful very very faithful to her god but are you asking yourself the questions i'm asking myself or i was asking myself when i was told this story yes i am did this girl have a boyfriend usually at the age of uh, 15 uh, have i even gone very far at the age of 15 is when girls starts getting their first boyfriends <laughs> and yes this girl even at the age of 18 when most of the girls finish their o level uh, um, uh, education this girl never had a boyfriend never had a boyfriend but this is not the reason why she was a virgin what happened is that um this girl never used to you know to have a bad heart if i should say she was a very open girl very talkative very likable but she had virtues you know and morals and she had a stand you know most girls do you know why girls go sleeping around with men out there or with boys let me say boys because most of the girls get their, get children at the age of 17 16 18 20 because they go being careless out there with their age mates and sometimes old men these days it is old men that are taking these small girls and making them pregnant but then those days it was school boys college mates or even uh, um, high school uh, uh, dropouts <laughs> that used to do this to girls and making them pregnant careless <laughs> careless <laughs> oh my god so this girl got a boyfriend when she was 19 and what happened is that when she got a boyfriend she introduced this boyfriend to the parents and said parents you may be wondering whom i'm seeing and um, i've already i'm already through with my o level education waiting to, to go to the university but this is my boyfriend this is my boyfriend so uh this boy this girl introduced the boyfriend to the parents and the, the parents knew that this is the boyfriend to our daughter and uh, she confirmed with the parents and said i will not do anything stupid because i want to stay 
uh, uh, virgin until the time I will get married. So the parents trusted this girl because they had seen the way this girl kept herself and grew up, uh, a faithful woman. They trusted her and she kept her trust. So the boyfriend could come and pick the girl and they go out and uh, drop her back at home. And it was just like even the boy would come and say, oh, mama, I want to take your girl out, but I'm bringing her back at six o'clock. And one minute past, past six, these people are there. So she kept her word and she was trusted and she feared God. She knew that um, um, sex before marriage is not workable and she keep, kept it that way. The boyfriend knew who she, he was dating and what principles this girl had, even the time they were seeing each other. So what happened is that they stayed together for some time, but the boy was unable to wait. Um, the boy started cheating around, you know, men are men. And the girl knew, and on knowing, the girl said, no, I cannot continue with this relationship because I have heard that the, my boyfriend has had a relationship with another woman. And so she stayed alone. But she was not one of the very lucky ones to get a good man after that. So she went to college, finished, got a job, stayed at the workplace. Men are approaching her, but she was not trusting any man, remembering how she had put her trust to their first boyfriend. But when she got a relationship again at the age of 24, she was like, am I going to succeed in this one? Because obviously when I tell a man that I'm not going to bed with him, men are not willing to wait. So she was like, okay, I'll keep it that way anyway. And uh, I'm telling you a story that I can justify and say it is the truth, that this girl never went to bed with any man. So she got a few men between the age of 24 and um, before, between the age of 24 and uh, about uh, 38 men could stay with her for two three years and then they drop out they leave the girl and you know why she was being left she was being left because she was not compromising her belief and her stand and uh, why i'm telling you this story is because there was this particular man that now the girl said okay i'm now 35 and i'm gonna introduce this one now to the parents from the first time that she had introduced the 19 year old boy to the parents she never introduced any other man to the parents because she feared that uh, men will be introduced and then after that they are gonna be leaving her anytime so at 38 35 is when she finally introduced the man that she loved and you know now at this age you are also looking at your biological clock and you're saying oh my god if you could give me a serious man in my life i would appreciate so this is what happened she introduced this man and this man was mature but not a family man and he was a born again christian and uh, the parents now prayed with the daughter and said now it's the high time that this man gets serious with you because uh, you are now already uh, mature and uh, for already at that age without even a relationship without a baby without anything that is late so the, it was like a prayer session and the man was introduced but unfortunately just like the other four this man still wanted to go to bed with this woman and uh, she was not ready to do that even at 38 so uh why i'm telling you this story is that there are some um, there are some uh, the decisions that you can make in life that even you the decision maker will fear after some duration of time and you'll say did i make the right decision but i want to tell you that this lady was sure that she made the proper decision and she was willing to wait have you known that song that says i've come too far to look back <laughs> i have come too far to look back this lady kept singing that song i have come too far to look back and she said she'll never look back because she'll no, never entertain a man in her bed for the sake of uh, having a, a relationship or for the sake of having maybe a child you know you can look at your age and you say i wish i could just get a child and then the, the rest will follow this lady never compromised and uh, guys it was not easy it was not easy so uh, I can tell you for sure that uh, this lady, at the age of 45, she was still a virgin. She was still a virgin. 
So, how possible is it for you to remain a virgin this long? I want to tell you that it is not easy. Or oh, this person you're speaking here is a woman. So, I can tell you that it is not easy. First of all, your body matures and the hormones are haywire at a certain age. Controlling these hormones is, is, is a job in itself. It needs a lot of prayers. There's also that age that you get to, especially like, you remember when we were in form two and we had that nice, round shape. Our bodies get that nice, youthful look when we are 15, 17, 18, and we look very, very, very nice. And that is when you look at the lady and you see <laughs> this lady is really beautiful. So it is not easy because this lady was beautiful. I can tell you for sure. She was beautiful. But she still went through that um, uh, decision-making season that she, she um, stood on and uh, make, made a decision that is, you know, that difficult. So, hey, guys, it, was, it is not easy. But she managed it. What relationship is this that you can have with your Lord? That will keep you so pure, so pure that there's no temptation that can sway you away. Yes, there's that relationship that you can have with your God. Uh, it is not by your power, not by might, but the, by the power of God that you do these things. The minute you kneel down and tell God what you want, it, 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 you, we are the people who take it for granted, who take things for granted. We take prayers for granted. But God is in the business of answering our prayers. And God gives us the desires of our hearts. So, this desire was granted to this girl right from the time she committed herself to God. And she said, come what me, I will not uh, look back. And again, at the age of 35, you will say to yourself, I've gone too far to look back. Another thing is, uh, let me discuss men here. So, men are not willing, they are not willing to stay with a lady without going to bed with her. That one is, you know, black and white, as clear as black and white. Men want the bed issues first before marriage. And those that have committed their lives to Christ, they know that they cannot do that. Because the relationship with God is more important and it is sweeter and it is better than a relationship with a man. But men cannot wait. I have come to know that men cannot wait. Because the men that were pointed out as the men that were in this lady's life were many. And they were, they were Christians also. But when it came to bad issues, they were not able to wait. Because they said, no, I cannot stay with a woman that I have not tested. How about if I marry this woman and then she fails to give birth? And you may wonder, all these relationships that she was having... Why wasn't a man proposing so that they get married in good time? So that this waiting can be curtailed. But I want to tell you that a man wants to test you first. A man wants to go to bed with you first. And this is very unfortunate. Most of the men that, most of the men that uh, women that are born again get to see or to meet, they are also born again men. And I want to tell you that this uh, situation of getting born again and not even st studying to, your, to the... Uh, commandments of God when it comes to men <laughs> is one thing and, and truthfulness is another because men are declaring out there that they are born again but they are still sleeping out with women this is evident because this lady told it out she said I met two men that were very very serious to even get married to me and wait until the, 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 the day of the marriage uh, but waiting until the day of the marriage was the hardest thing they didn't want to do that. They just wanted us, first of all, to test the bed issues, and then after that, we can make a decision. Most of them said, how about if we get married and we don't get ch children? But you are born again. You people are supposed to kneel down and pray to God, and God will offer what he says he will offer. God will always give you the best. When it comes to children, God will give you, because you have decided. You have decided to follow Jesus. You remember that song that I've decided to follow Jesus? Yes, but men are unable to wait. Men want to test. Men, men don't want to have faith in what they believe in. 
you believe in God but you don't want to have faith in that God because why do you want to go to a, with a man with a woman to bed so that she can see if she's pregnant and then you marry her when she's pregnant this lady refused so at 45 because I don't want this video to go for too long what happened this lady at 45 uh, years got married to a pastor whose wife had died and this pastor was true to the girl and this pastor married a virgin at 45 so was this a preaching in church yes it was it was a preaching in church because the pastor stood and told the congregation i will not lie to you i want to tell you the truth i got married to a 45 year old woman and she was a virgin and so see me god may god see me if i'm lying this girl had kept herself pure up to that age guys how many people are like this woman how many people can be truly upright up to the age of 45 for the sake of god <laughs> guys we want to add this video here if you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing and we see you in the next one may we be faithful to our god bye